Winston. <laughs> do you like the snow? What do you think? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. This is Young Womanhood 101 where we share about healthy lifestyle, self-care, homemaking, and all of the above. So today is kind of a self-care homemaking, honestly all of three. <laughs> all three of those things are in this video because we are gonna do a work from home diaries vlog. But the focus is romanticizing the winter time. And I thought today was perfect because of the snow outside. It's our first snow in Tennessee of the year. So it's really coming down out there. I'm working from home today, which is good because I don't really trust myself driving in icy weather at all. So it's already 930. All I've done this morning was spend time with Jesus and eat breakfast. So now we're going to get started on a little bit of work, but I also kind of want to incorporate reading time into this day because I just want to take advantage of the cozy vibes with the snow and it doesn't happen that often. So we're going to be doing that back and forth, but first things first, I'm going to edit pictures I took yesterday because we went on a road trip yesterday for content purposes, so I'm going to edit everything from yesterday. It is now 12 o'clock. I went downstairs after my shower to get some posts up for today. So I did that. Now I'm just doing my skincare and getting ready. I wanted to talk about romanticizing the winter time because I used to struggle with the winter blues, the seasonal depression, all that stuff. And I know that a lot of other people struggle with that and honestly in the last year or two I've grown to appreciate all four seasons even though fall is my favorite I've grown to appreciate each one of them because of how God created them. I heard this somewhere online that the seasons of the year are supposed to reflect women's bodies and how our cycle works so obviously winter is like when we're on our period that's like hibernation season the follicular phase is after that that's spring that's when you're getting excited things are growing that's when you are starting to gain energy then ovulation is summer that's when you're the most active that's when you're lively that's when you want to get out and do stuff and then the luteal phase is fall and that's when you're kind of starting to slow down that's when you're starting to get cozy and all that and when i learned 
that that's how the women's cycle goes and that's how the seasons go. It just made me appreciate the the way God designed the seasons even more and how he knew exactly what we needed in all of these seasons. And even if you do know that, it still can be hard to appreciate all the seasons. So I'm wanting to give you some practical tips other than that mindset shift that can help with the winter blues. romanticize your cozy evenings and when I know that I'm gonna have a cozy evening maybe Alec is out playing pickleball with my husband or he's just busy with something and I'm by myself I make it an event and that's kind of what makes it special so I will come home take off my outside clothes and put on comfy clothes I take off my makeup, do my skincare so I feel fresh and I can relax. Then I will go downstairs. I will make a sweet treat or make hot chocolate or something, popcorn. And then I will either watch a movie or read a book. If I'm reading a book, I'll put cozy ambiance YouTube videos on the TV. Or if I'm watching a movie, that will be on the TV. I like candles, I put all of our cozy lights on, no overhead lights, and I just make it a whole event. I post it on my Instagram story so it feels like, oh, a cozy night, like this is a thing. And I think that helps me with hanging out alone at nighttime when Alec is busy. Also cuddling with my dog is helpful too. So that's my first tip, but I finished all my skincare so I'm going to go back downstairs get some lunch and we'll keep talking about this. taking a break to eat lunch go on a walk and do some chores around the house also the motivation is just low mainly because since it's the holiday season there's just not a lot to do as people are wrapping up for the year I wanted to talk about the next thing which is invite friends over for cozy nights in especially if you're an extrovert this season is probably very hard for you as people are hibernating and spending more time at home and being cozy so if that is the case for you and you're an extrovert i would invite people over for a game night a movie night even a seasonal themed night like you could decorate christmas cookies i did that last year or you could paint ornaments or things like that. Even if you're not extroverted, I still recommend doing at least one thing like this because you don't want to get isolated during the winter. Being isolated is not good for you. And I just think it's good to break up the week and have something to look forward to in the winter time. So that's my recommendation, but I'm going to do the rest of my makeup for my friends that are coming over this evening.
The next thing that helps with curing winter blues is to create a morning routine that you look forward to. Now, this morning I didn't really have a very structured morning routine, so don't follow this morning's example, but on an ideal morning, what I would do is I would wake up at 6, I would have a cozy Jesus time with my dog sitting at my feet, and I have lamps on normally because it's still dark out, then, and I'll go on my phone afterwards and I play the wordle and all that, then at 7 I would eat breakfast and shower, get ready for the day, do my makeup, all that good stuff. I'm starting to do my daily walks in the afternoon just because it's so cold now that doing it in the morning is not going to work out. So my workout would come, but since it's a walk, I normally don't sweat too much, so I can wait to do it till later. But that would be my ideal morning routine and then I would be ready by like 8.30. So I encourage you to create a morning routine like that, that you look forward to, that has some space in it, especially in the winter. You don't want to just wake up and have to go, go, go when it's still dark out. I don't know about you, but I cannot do that. So if you have a morning routine with space in it, that can help with the coziness, embracing the season, and romanticizing it. That's my recommendation at least. I know some people have work in school early in the morning, so if you can, try to make it cozy in the morning. That's what I recommend. Chores done. Now sitting on the couch, going to read a little more before I get back to work <laughs> and do something. So that is my next tip for winter blues is reading. If you are not a reader, I recommend trying it because you don't know what genre could be right up your alley. And you could also do audiobooks if you don't like to sit down and read. My husband does not like to sit down and read. There's just something about reading a book for fun and escaping to another world and another story that I think is awesome. So here's what I'm currently reading for fun, The Christmas Tree Farm by Lori Gilmore. This is the third book in her series. So I'm continuing the series with her with this holiday themed one. Then I'm reading this one for my business book club, The Conquering Creative. It's about turning your creative passion into a business. So pretty informative and it's by a guy that's an illustrator. So he has pictures all throughout the book. There's pictures, so that's kind of fun. Last but not least, I'm reading Atomic Habits. I've been reading this for a while, but I read it very, very slowly so that I can digest everything and apply it. So I'm doing that on purpose, but you've probably heard about Atomic Habits before. That's what I'm reading right now. I recommend reading some books this winter. If you need some recommendations, I have a video from last year of all the books I read. I probably posted it in December or January. And then I'm going to be posting a new video of all the books I read in 2024. So look out for that. But I highly recommend joining the reading club.
He's gone. It is now six o'clock. I spent most of the afternoon reading and doing more chores. I did try to post something, but Facebook and Instagram must be down right now or this afternoon because it would not go on the internet. So I did try to work at least. I've been reading this and I made that pasta that you saw. And now our friends are going to come over and we're going to have a game night with them. And that is the plan. Here's Alec. He's listening to a podcast so he can't hear you. And... <laughs>